Hey Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what will be your next major relationship. You know, who will it be with? What will it be like? And, um, you know, when can you roughly expect for it to unfold? It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If um, you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So I want to take a closer look at your next major relationship, not necessarily your next, um, you know, the next fling or the next romantic, uh, fle fleeting romantic encounter you might have. Okay, it's with the King of Wands kind of energy. So someone very confident, someone very bold, someone very brave, um, someone very attract, uh, very attractive. And very attracted to you as well. I feel like this is this person is going to be the one making a move on you. I feel like this person is going to be the one who is, um, you know, this person is the one that I feel like he or she is going to be taking charge of the relationship. So they have more of an assertive energy. Um, also, I feel like the King of Wands, because he's very enthusiastic, right? He's very enthusiastic, he's very adventurous, very risk-taking. I think that this person is going to be... Um, you know, is going to want to move their relationship along quite quickly. So as soon as they meet you, you know, um, they won't hesitate to tell you or at least let you know that they're attracted to you and they want to get something going with you, okay? So no hesitation with this person's energy. This is also someone who's a go-getter. So in the past, you know, whatever it is that they've set out to do, they've off more than often, sorry, more often than not, have accomplished, um, have accomplished that successfully. So... Yeah, this is someone who I feel like, you know, goes after what it is he or she wants. This person is very attractive, okay? Someone who likes to take care of themselves. And they've just got this, just this kind of, um, there's a lot of like, there's this fun, fun, flirty energy around this person. This person has gone through a lot of change, growth, and transformation recently. Um, maybe, you know, in their younger days, they may have been a bit of a player, but I feel like this person has had a bit of a character arc and they've now transformed into someone, you know, who um, has a lot of stability and someone who's matured and who's grown and who's learned, you know, a lesson or two along the way. I, I see that there's been a lot of big changes and a little bit, uh, a lot of transformations in their, in their life as well. I'm seeing that this is going to be a very um, energetic, a very fun and adventurous type of a connection. There's a lot of change, um, a lot of changes, a lot of movement. Um, it's not, I don't, you know, it's not going to get stale. It's, I feel like it's always, this person is always up for fun and adventure and, you know, someone who wants to keep things uh, light and flirty. Great communicator. Okay. Queen of Swords energy. This person um, is a natural wordsmith. Someone who I feel like is very talkative. You're going to have a very strong mental compatibility with this person. Conversation will never run dull. Um, and this person is very open. Like you can talk to this person about, you know, anything goes. They're very open. They like to talk things over. So if something is bothering them or something is bothering you, they would like to know. Okay. This is someone who speaks up, very opinionated. The person has an opinion, is very firm in their beliefs as well. Um, they're very strong moral compass is the other thing. This person, you know, is strong moral fiber. Okay, they're very big on, you know, what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. Um, very truthful as well. Sometimes a little, like, they may have placed their feet, like, they they may have put their foot in their mouth just because they're so, you know, they, they speak the truth. And sometimes, um, you know, not everyone is willing to hear the truth, so they end up putting their foot in their mouth as a result. But, yeah, I feel like this person is very direct, very truthful, very honest, um, isn't good at lying, so when he or she decides to lie, you'll know exactly when they're doing it, because they're not very good at it. Strong, yeah, this person has a lot of drive, so strong masculine energy. This, this is the one, this person is taking charge. They're very dominant. Not, like, domineering, but they're very, they, they're in charge. Strong, yeah, masculine alpha energy. They have a couple, from what I'm seeing as well, they have a couple traditions that they like to stick to as well. 
traditional type of partner. I think it's going to be a traditional type of a relationship. Potentially will result in a very traditional um, or very religious or cultural type of wedding ceremony. Um, there's a lot of strength in this person. There's a lot of strength in character um, with this person. A lot of resilience as well. They've been through some things and I think it's they've allowed for, you know, all of the experience, emotional experiences that they've been through, they've allowed for that to transform them, to strengthen them. I'm also seeing that this is going to be a very strong and powerful connection, a very strong and powerful relationship. They're very passionate, very feisty, very fiery. Okay, I'm seeing that there may be some uh, anger or temper tantrums. They may be prone to a few temper tantrums, so they have to find a way to, you know, manage their emotions a little bit better. Um, I feel like this this relationship will be everything that you've, you know, you've always wanted for it to be. There is, and I always like to say that there's something so, you know, fairy tale like about the Page of Cups, in the, isn't there? So someone very charming, someone very romantic, someone who's going to, I feel like is going to want to sweep you off your feet. Someone very fun, adventurous, very flirty. Um, there's an element of surprise as well with the Page of Cups. So this person, I feel like, is going to be a pleasant surprise um, from, or someone very different from the usual types that you've dated. Um... You've got the infinity uh, symbol that's come up twice here. I think this is your forever person. I think this is the person that you're destined to do this thing with. You know, you're destined to settle down with this person. You're destined to uh, end up with this person. The both of you are destined to be together. Um, I'm also seeing so I'm I'm seeing that this person may be um, they could potentially be in the creative arts. Um, this person may potentially also have, um, with the magician's energy, maybe this is someone who, uh, in the entertainment industry as well, the creative arts, the entertainment industry, someone who I feel like may have had their own business, okay, has their own startup business, has made that a tremendous success. Um, someone who's got a lot of talents, a lot of skills, um, very playful, a bit of a trickster as well, this person, just very playful. Likes to play around, likes to muck around. A very playful type of energy. Um, financially, they're very independent, financially secure. Financial stability is coming strong um, in the, across in their energy. Um, this person does have... I feel like they're, um, they have, they're very good with children. They may have children on, of their own. Or you potentially could end up having children with this person. Okay, um... There is going to be some blockages. Uh, if this is someone that you've recently met, you potentially might not be communicating right now. Maybe you guys aren't talking, you guys aren't speaking right now. Um, you know, whatever he has transpired, I feel like you'll find a way to work through things. But um, I'm seeing that there could be some blockages or some setbacks or some challenges in this relationship. So yeah, it's going to be fun, flirty, adventurous. But at the same time, you will have some sort of obstacles or some setbacks you'll have to conquer and you'll have to overcome. But this person is going to put you in a very happy place, okay? You're, this person is going to be your happy place. They're going to be... Um, yeah, this person is going to be your happy place. You're going to be their happy place. I had to think about that. Um, I'm seeing some of you... I'm seeing you're going to be traveling with this person as well. Traveling to somewhere where it's very hot and tropical... Um, for some of you, that's how you might meet this person. Also, summertime is coming up very strongly. Um, summer, springtime could be, depending on what part of the world you're at, right? Um, maybe you've already met this person. Some of you, you could potentially could be picking up communication or contact with this person um, during the spring or the summertime. Okay, a lot of passion, a lot of um, romance, passion, energy. Yeah, this is someone who I feel like you're going to, there's a lot of growth. Someone that you're going to grow and learn with, someone that you're going to, um, you're going to experience a lot with this person. You're going to build a lot of memories. Um, will there be ups and downs? Absolutely. Okay, no relationship is immune from, you know, it's, um, you know, it's fair share of arguments. Um 
So with the Ace of Wands energy, I feel like this is there's so much potential here. There's just and you, the both of you will recognize the potential that you know this connection has from early on. Okay, you'll there's this you know you guys will be so drawn to each other. You guys will be so connected to each other, and um, it's just like they speak the same language. You, you guys have the same sense like you have the same sense of humor. You guys just get each other. You guys, it's just that you're so similar. You're, you're a match. Uh, from the very beginning and you'll you'll be able to identify just how much potential this connection has There are going to be some setbacks though. Okay, some of you this is a long distance Maybe that's the setback or that's the challenge that I'm seeing for others I, I don't know what it is. Maybe you're going to there's something here that I feel like is going to be a bit difficult But if you can overcome some of these challenges that present itself throughout the course of the relationship It's only going to strengthen the relationship. It's only going to tighten this connection and bring the both of you closer together okay guys these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening appreciate your support by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now